Becoming a billionaire by playing the markets, when you know because that which you are part of controls the markets, you know when the market's going up and the market down, Anybody can be a billionaire. Okay, the market's going to go up. Okay, I'll, uh, um, I'll get into this. Market's going down. Okay, I'll get out of that. People don't know that the game is rigged. Uh, the game's completely rigged. So when Soros opens his mouth, this hidden hand is speaking. Not every now and again, not when there's an R in the month, all the time. So you look at Soros, you've mentioned him already in terms of uh, uh, Black Lives Matter and, and, and the, the attempt of a race war in America, and that's, that's absolutely the case. Um, and there was a local television station, uh, I don't know, two or three months ago in America that exposed the fact that Soros and Soros Front organizations, one of, the, one of them I think was called Welcome America, um, was, was, was trying to pour people into uh, parts of America, out of um, uh, uh, middle uh, America, Central America, with the exact same agenda of transforming those societies into a different uh, culture. Uh, and, and, and he's behind uh, that going on in the United States. He's, he's behind what's going on in Europe. And so when you look at Chancellor Merkel, I mean, she is a front person for this hidden hand down to her DNA. So this starts to explain to German people and, and David, others in Europe excuse me. about why, why suddenly she opened the floodgates, because it's destroying She her. surely must see now that it's not right, and she's still standing behind the exactly decision. That. Exactly so, that. There are two options. She either really wants it or someone told her to do it, yeah. or she's stupid. And exactly. I don't think she's stupid. No, she's not stupid. She's very, very calculating and, and, and not stupid. Um, well, you know, she, she's not got an expanded consciousness, so she wouldn't do what she'd done, but intellectually she's not stupid. Um, and, and the whole point that I've been trying to get across over these years is that the front people for this hidden hand um, are terrified of the hidden hand because they know what the hidden hand does when it's crossed. Um, and therefore she is more frightened of the hidden hand than she is of the German people. And as you rightly say, she is committing electoral suicide. But by the time that she is removed, which she you know, almost certainly will be as a result of all this, and, and, and the election results in Germany are catastrophic for her and her party, then vast numbers of people will be in Germany and, and the die will be cast. And that's not a condemnation of the people coming in, although let's not, uh, let, let, let me say this. People see the whole world in black and white. Therefore, um, it's all Muslims bad, all Muslims good. Um, Muslim people that I've known and, and met in the Middle East and around the world are some of the kindest, gentlest, generous people I've ever come across. But to say that all Muslims are like that would be as stupid as to say all Muslims are bad and terrorists. We've got to see the shades of grey, otherwise there's no way we're going to get our heads around what's going on. And there's no doubt that, that, that there are people who call themselves Muslim and overwhelmingly these, these Muslim extremists are actually not following uh, Islam that most people are following. They're following Saudi Arabia's basically extreme Islam. Yeah, this, well, is, this, is why, this is why Saudi Arabia chops people's heads off and so does ISIS because they're, they're expressions of the same belief system. And it's, most of that is manufactured. They, they don't chop people's heads off in Syria. I mean, and, David, and many other Muslims. let me ask you this. There are over a million of them already in Europe. Yeah. Now, they came in, no one checked them. Yeah. No, exactly. Now, how can you tell which one is which? Which well, one is the terrorist, which one is the kind one? Well, this, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is the problem that has everyone cast with the same uh, perception of, 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 of who they are. But, the, the, you know, the... Um, there was a, an undercover reporter um, for a French television station um, who um, went undercover with a, a terrorist, quote, terrorist cell in Europe. And when he came out and talked about it, he said the shocking thing was, basically, there was no Islam involved at all. These were just kids who were suicidal, who were uh, uh, on drugs, who were uh, completely lost. Uh, and there was no mention of Islam. 
Um, and they had been promised that if they, you know, did these things, they would get a, 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 a you know, paradise and all that stuff as a result of it. They were just bits of kids being uh, manipulated. And, and, and if, you, if you go through the process, uh, you have these people that, that carry them out, carry out these terrorist attacks, and some actually are carried out by the, the, directly by uh, uh, the security agencies wearing, wearing uh, 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 you know, face covers and, 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 and armory like has happened in, in America. They say this person's done that, but you don't, you don't know that because when they did it, the only pe thing people saw were people in masks and and arm and 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 and, and, um, and, and you know uh, with weapons. They didn't see their faces. But you've got these kids that carried it out. Then you've got the the next level. You've got the the leaders of these 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 terrorist organisations. Then you've got military intelligence, like the CIA, British intelligence, and Mossad. Now these kids here don't know that exists, and then above that you've got you're going deeper. Into no, it, they yeah? don't know that it exists above them. No, they, they 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 think they're carrying out these terrorist attacks for 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 whatever reason they are. They don't realize that because of compartmentalization that actually they're carrying them out on behalf of the very authorities they think they're carrying them out against. Yes. This this is the inversion, um, and so uh, if we. Um, if we equate uh, Islam as its, pra I mean, I, I, I don't practice any religion. I think I, I, I have a phrase, Re religion is the greatest form of mind control ever invented. But um, if, you, um, if we cast everyone that follows Islam in a peaceful way uh, with, with these, these kind of people who are who's, who's no longer in control of their minds, um, then, then w this divide and rule is going to be uh, um, a catastrophic in Europe. And I would say this, let, let's not look at what people believe. Let's not look at what they look like. Let's look at what they do. And, 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 and there's no question, it's quite blatant, that for instance, there is a completely different um, dynamic and perception of women uh, and the, the, the role of women and the subordination of women um, among so many of these, um, these migrants into Europe following uh, uh, Islam in its various forms, um, that this is where this uh, great um, problem has occurred in places like Germany and Sweden of, okay. of, of, of attacks on women. It's because the, 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 the way women are seen is not in the same way that they're seen in Europe. And it's no good people saying that's racist. It's fact. Um, uh, 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 I mean, you know, you look at Saudi Arabia at its most extreme. They can't drive cars, women. They can't basically go anywhere without a chaperone. Uh, uh, you've, got, you've got women uh, in, in, in these extreme uh, uh, places like, like Pakistan who, who are stoned to death for being freaking raped, right? I mean, it, it's absolute madness. That's the extreme. This unbelievable uh, male domination and disrespect for women. Like, women are just slaves to be used and told what to do. Now, if, if some of that mentality is coming into Europe, it's not going to stop having that mentality. And we must face the fact Again, we're into shades of grey. Um, are the vast majority of um, migrants coming into Europe abusing women? No, they're not. And they never would. Are some of them doing it? Yes, they are. And instead of saying we can't talk about that, we must think it's all like that, it's not. And, and, and that this is the point. What these people are doing is creating the very thing that they say they don't want to happen, and that is um, a, 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 a way of um, looking at what's happening with a frustration that you can't articulate how you feel about it. Why? Uh, be because of political correctness, you're a racist.